My name is Adetto Oda. I'm a high school student. As you can see, <laughs> I'm short. My head barely reaches the other passenger's shoulders, but I've gotten used to it. Anyways, I want to tell you about this girl. I first noticed her on a train I was riding home from school. Are you sure, young lady? I looked up after hearing an old man speak to somebody. I saw him standing near a tall girl in a high school uniform. Hmm? Thank you, young lady. No problem. She's so much taller than I am. Her long legs and arms made an impression. I remember wishing she would share a little with me. She must be kind, considering she gave up her seat. I couldn't make out her facial features, but I could see she was blushing. Another day after school, I saw the girl from the train walking down the hall. Yo, uh, who's that girl? I think it's Ushiro-san from Class C. I know somebody went to middle school with her. Hmm, Ushiro-san. What is it? You want to ask her for advice on how to grow? Ha! <laughs> Dude, do not tease my height. As it turns out, the girl's name was Asuka Ushiro. She was in my grade. Our grade has six classes. I'm not surprised that I didn't know she existed before. The next time Ushiro-san appeared in my sight was at the train station that day. I saw a pregnant woman holding several bags. It looked like she was struggling. I should help her, but I was wondering if I should ask her if she needed help. Just then, somebody pushed past me. Do you need help carrying those bags? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No problem. Where are you headed to? I was going to catch a taxi. Is that okay? Sure thing. She took the bags from the pregnant woman and started to walk slowly. Probably because she didn't want to rush the woman. She seemed like a nice girl. It's nice to see somebody who isn't scared of lending a helping hand. I had never met anybody like her before. She sparked my interest and I longed to learn more about her. I began to search Asuka Ushira wherever I was. At school and on the train. I continued to watch her from afar. She had clear skin and a gentle demeanor. I could tell she made the book cover she used on her novels. She's kind and she loves reading. And she's good at sewing. She probably bakes sweets and spends her days off watering flowers in her garden. I'm aware I made up assumptions and planted a selfish image. The thing is, there was one problem imagination couldn't overcome. She is so much taller than I expected. I should have realized it from the start. I was short. She was tall. It was obvious how that would end up. It shattered my ego. I lost all confidence because of it. <laughs> Drinking milk isn't going to help me grow. Hate it, Tao. I'm glad you're here. Can you grab a popsicle for me? Uh, can I ask you something? Do all girls like tall guys? Huh? Why do you suddenly care about height? You've always been short, and it's never been a problem for you. I know, but dude, I thought I was gonna grow in middle school, but I didn't. What if this is where I stop? That'll be a nightmare. Well, maybe I should buy some supplements. I don't see the problem. A guy's face or height does not decide his worth. You should know that. Then what does? Uh patience and intelligence financial stability oh no you have none of those uh, i should never ask for your advice don't worry none of it matters when two people fall in love how will i get her to fall in love when i look like this why don't you do something impressive to catch her attention or you could just ask her out i don't think she's the type of girl that would like that what about a letter describing your love for her write a poem some chicks really dig that stuff uh, wouldn't that creep her out? Getting advice from my older sister gave me no reassurance whatsoever. Even if I got her to talk to me, I'm too short. I would instantly get friend-zoned. I never considered myself a hot guy, but my confidence has taken a deep dive since I began to grow feelings for Ushiro-san. I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't even want to stand next to her. However, an unexpected opportunity dropped into my hands a few days later. I was at the train station after school. A notification was up to tell the customers that the train was late. I didn't have any other options. I had no choice but to stay and wait. Ugh, it's so crowded. I bet the train will be packed like crazy. Just then, I saw Ushiro-san standing a few meters away from me. I weaved through the crowd and slowly walked toward where she was. Hey, um, excuse me. Yes? The station is packed today. Did something happen? Do you know? I heard there was an accident, but they're working on getting the trains moving right now. Oh, I see. Gosh, I can't get over how crowded it is. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Dead, I'll get a grip, man. This is my chance to start a natural conversation with Uishi-san. And I totally messed it up. Uh, we're in the same grade, aren't we? Huh? Uh, yes. You might want to keep your distance from me. What? Look, 
Ashiro has a guy standing next to her. You're right. Will you look at the height difference? I suddenly heard unfamiliar voices making insulting comments towards us. Two overconfident looking girls are standing behind us. Oh, Shiro-san, is that your boyfriend? I didn't know losers could date. What a surprise. Uh... It seemed like Ushiro-san was trying to ignore them. She was trying hard not to let them affect her. But they kept bugging her. For some reason, watching them irritated me. Uh, guys, I don't know much about any of you guys, but don't you think it's rude to call someone a loser when you know her name? Uh, what? You don't know her? So what? Were you hitting on her or something? Or maybe it was the other way. Was Oshiro-san hitting on you? No, that concerns you. And there are two of you. Why are you ganging up on her? You don't know. Oshiro-san isn't her only asset. She gets attention from all the guys thanks to her lady lumps. She's a pro at making passes. Being poor doesn't excuse you for wearing such a small uniform. Why don't you ask for hand-me-downs? Uh... Why does she have to mention Oshiro-san's lady lumps? Now I can't stop thinking about him. You know, they have a point. She's huge. Stop it! There are plenty of other things to focus on right now. Just then, an announcement rang to the station. The train was running and it will be arriving soon. Oshiro-san took a step forward and spoke in a rather small voice. You're wrong! I don't make passes as anybody! And nothing is going on with him! She's standing in front of me? Is she trying to protect me? Whatever. I don't care. Just stop being so conspicuous. I couldn't stand listening to them anymore. Ugh, you two are being much more conspicuous. What? what? Have either of you ever given up your seat on the train? Or have you ever helped a pregnant woman? You have no idea how kind this girl is. You're judging her based on her appearance. <laughs> Oshiro-san, come on, let's go. Hey! I took Oshiro-san's hand and pushed through the crowd into the train. Just when I thought we had escaped, another issue came along. Whoa! Uh, there were more people than we expected. It was literally a tsunami of people. Uchiro-san and I were taken away and ended up on the other side of the train. Ow! Oh. I opened my eyes to find... Oh my gosh! I've never been face to face with her. So, this is what it's like. However, there was no time to enjoy the view. Oh no, a few more centimeters until I'm suffocated. I hope she understands I didn't mean for this to happen. Would she hate me? I could feel the crowd pushing brutally. Ushiro-san's breasts were close up. They were all I could see. <laughs> Maybe she heard what I was thinking. She put her arms up against the train door to brace herself. She avoided eye contact. It was so awkward. I focused on using every muscle to keep still since there was no place to escape. Eventually, the train departed the station. I can't believe the girl I like is Kabe donning me. It's pathetic. I'm such a wuss. I'm the one who should be protecting her, not the other way. But I couldn't defend her enough earlier. I'm too small. There's no way I can be there for her like I want. I doubt she would want to be friends with me. Ah, maybe it's time I give up. I should move on. Negative thoughts were running through my head, but then, was sure Asan opened her mouth. Earlier? Huh? You knew everything I did? Oh, she must be referring to what I said. Maybe it was a coincidence. It still meant a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, it wasn't exactly a coincidence. Ah. Eventually, we arrived at Oshiro-san Station. The train was too suffocating. So I decided to get off with her. Why did you get off? Um... My name is Hideto Oda. Hideto-kun, would you like to be friends? Huh? Are you sure you want to be friends with me? To tell you the truth, I've been thinking about you. <laughs> My stupid, stupid mouth! I'm not the good girl you think I am. Asuka-san, I bet you had no idea who I was. Well, I knew we rode the same train. Really? You acknowledge me? Yep. What did you think? I thought you were petite. <laughs> yeah. So she noticed me because I was short. Oh, I'm sorry if I offended you. I didn't mean to. Ah! Watch out! Ushiro-san tried to peer into my face to apologize and she tripped on a little step. My attempt to catch her utterly failed. I ended up on the ground, underneath her. Did I feel lucky that the girl I have a crush on not only gave me a Kabe Dom, but she also has ended up on me? Uh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hey, I'm sorry too. Why? You have nothing to apologize for. I bet any other guy would have been able to support you, but I'm too small. That's not true. It's my fault. 
I'm too tall. I'm sure you agree with me, Hidato-kun. I think you're tall, but that isn't a bad thing. I'm aware that guys prefer girls to be smaller than them. It makes them want to protect the girl. But there's nothing I can do about it. Her self-sabotaging felt familiar. I can understand the pain since I always did the same. Asuka-san, I want to protect you. Huh? That's all I want. I wish I did a better job protecting you earlier. Oh. I don't want to force anything. I'll back off if being short gets in the way. But I would love to try if you're willing to give me a chance. Hidato kun thank you. Asuka-san had tears in her eyes as she gently smiled at me. She looked prettier than ever. I don't care what I look like as long as I get to stay by her side and protect her. That was the only thought in my mind while I held Asuka-san's warm hand and looked into her eyes. My name is Kanada Suyuki. I'm an ordinary 20-year-old university student. I'm currently working at a restaurant during my time off classes. There is something I've been enjoying these past few months. Wow, she's always so pretty. A woman passes by the restaurant window from time to time. She has clear skin and long, gorgeous hair. She usually has downcast eyes and seems so fragile. If I were to name something that describes her, it would be a lily. She isn't the glamorous type, but there's something about her that catches my eye. I know nothing about her, but that didn't stop me from developing feelings for her. I see her often. She must live nearby. I wonder what she does. I wish she'd walk through the door so I could talk to her. I couldn't stop thinking about her. She was half the reason I kept working there. One day, an opportunity suddenly came to me. She walked through the door. Welcome to... Uh... Oh my gosh, it's that girl I always see! Hi there, uh, let me take you to your seat. Are you alone? I did not want to waste this chance. I rushed past the other employees and headed toward the door. But the second I got there... Huh? Something smells awful. The smell attacked me as if someone took a swing at my nose with a bat. The other customers were turning towards the woman. They smelled her too. What is this smell? It's unbearable. Oh, what is going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not here to eat. Huh? Oh, you're not? I saw somebody drop this on their way in here just now. She was holding on to a small brown wallet. And she pointed to a female customer sitting at one of the tables. I think it belongs to the woman sitting over there. Can you return it to her for me? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll give it to her. I received the wallet and walked over to the woman at the table. She looked surprised since she hadn't realized she dropped it. She thanked me. Wow, this is mine. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I really appreciate this. No problem. The lady over there found it? Huh? I turned around to point out the woman who brought the wallet, but there's no sign of her there. That day after work, that was my chance to find out her name and stuff. Oh, I screwed up. But seriously, what was that smell? She always looked so clean and tidy. I walked home with complicated feelings nagging at my heart. I was crossing a bridge when I noticed something out of the ordinary. Shoes? But it's too cold to be playing in the water? Uh, wait a minute. They're not children's size. Oh my gosh, does something bad happen here? I stood on the bridge and looked around. That's when I saw somebody splashing around in the middle of the river. But what the? Wait, hold on! Stop what you're doing! I jumped into the water before realizing what I was doing. Huh? You're... Imagine my shock to find out it was my crush. Oh, uh, thank you for doing the right thing earlier. I didn't get a chance to say it. Uh, the owner of the wallet wanted to thank you too. Oh, you're the guy from the restaurant. It took her a few seconds to recognize me since I was out of uniform. Well, what are you doing out here? You shouldn't be doing this. Huh? I'll help you. Just tell me what you need. Please don't waste your, Please don't waste your life like this. You should live. Um, hey, this is not what you think it is. Huh? I'm just doing my laundry in the river. That was when I realized she was holding something in her hands. It was a bottle of body soap. Uh, the woman's name was Yuri Akashi. She's an office worker who lives in the area. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. That's okay. I should apologize for acting rashly without observing enough. I never expected to see somebody doing their laundry in the river. Not that I can tell her. You never expected to see somebody doing their laundry in the river, huh? That's not what I was thinking. Why don't you read my thoughts? Unfortunately, the apartment I live in doesn't come with a bathroom or washing machine. I go to a public bath once every month, but that's all I can afford. <laughs> On top of that, something went wrong with the sewer pipes at my apartment, and the water stopped. That's why I came to the river to wash my clothes. Oh, that sounds pretty tough. 
gosh, I feel awful for making you jump in. You're sneezing. It's because you're wet. <laughs> I should have brought more towels. It's okay. I'll just go home and change my clothes. She couldn't dry herself enough because she had to lend me a towel. But she isn't blaming me for anything. I admired her big heart. The next second, I was holding her hand. Hey, um, you can come over. Huh? An hour later, I was holding on to a can of juice while watching YouTube as a side of my balcony. I didn't think I could be so daring. I've never invited a woman over to my place. Um, thank you for letting me use the bath. Aren't you cold? Nah, I'm alright. Are you feeling better now? Look at that damp hair. She looks like a goddess. Yes, a lot better. It's been so long since I last sat in a warm bathtub. I feel so alive now. But when we met at the river earlier, I was not expecting you to let me use your bath, and you surprised me again when we got to your place. Hey, I'll wait on the balcony while you use the bathroom. I'm sure you feel safer that way, and you can lock the door from the inside. What? But are you sure? Yes. I know that being in a stranger's apartment isn't exactly the most comfortable situation. Take your time in the bath. Just let me know when you get out, okay? I didn't think you would suggest that. <laughs> I can leave yuri son and catch a cold outside. I invited her to my apartment so she could warm up in the bath and clean herself. So, am I okay? Do I still smell bad? Huh? Uh, no, you smell good. She used my shampoo, but it smells so much nicer when the smell coming from her. Really? Do you think it'll last for two weeks? Uh, I think you should try to take a bath at least once every three days. Uh, you're right. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess the temptation got to me. Um, if you'd like... Huh? You can come over to take a bath every day if that's something you're up for. But, are you sure? Yes, I'll come home around the same time every day. Oh, but what about your uh, work schedule? Uh, well, I don't have a job. I had a few interviews, but you know how awful I smelled. They kicked me out before I could get to the interview room. Oh, that must have felt awful. Um, if you are really going to lend me your bath every day, at least let me make dinner for you, to thank you for your kindness. Really? Are you sure? I would love that. Of course! Well, that was the start of our unique relationship. I would let Yuri-san use the bath and she would make dinner for me. A week later... Wow, this is great! You're a great cook! Thank you! Who would have thought? Tofu and veggies go great with white rice. <laughs> I'm sorry I have such a low food budget. There's nothing to apologize for. I used to eat cup ramen and canned food all the time. This is like heaven for me. My heaven? After the first day, Yuri-san started coming over every three days to borrow my bathroom. Now that her apartment sewage system is fixed, she doesn't come over as much as I wish. I want to tell her she's welcome to come over every day, but would that creep around? I was curious about her. I wanted to know more about Yuri-san and why she was living the way she was. I built up my courage and asked her, Um, you're welcome to come over every day. You should take a bath once a day. Is there something that's making you hesitate? Huh? Uh, no, it's not like that. The thing is, it might be best for you to keep your distance from me. Why is that? Yuri Sal looked down for a second. After giving it some thought, she slowly opened her mouth. Kanata-kun, do you watch the news? Have you heard of a recent embezzlement incident? Yeah, I've heard of it. I might have seen it on TV. Well, the company involved, Akashi Company, belonged to my father. What? My family broke into pieces after the news came out. My father always put work first, and my mother moved out to live with her lover when I was 15. So it's nothing new, but everything ended. I used to work as a teacher, my dream job. It was an amazing experience. She doesn't know where the information leaks, but her connection to her father was revealed in front of all her students' guardians. They complained she was unfit for the job. Although she had nothing to do with her father's... Although she had nothing to do with her father's company. She quit soon after. Couldn't stand the hostile environment. Oh my gosh. I lost my job and my home. I somehow managed to find the apartment I live in now. But no matter where I went, people would judge me once they found out I was related to my father. I kept losing my confidence. That's how she's been living for the past few months. And now she's running out of money. So it's better for you to stay away from me. Who knows what people will say when they find out you're associated with me. I don't give a crap about that. But 
You're sorry. You said you're in a financial trouble. But you picked up that customer's wallet and returned it to her. You didn't take it. I know you're a good person. People in trouble don't usually go out of their way to help others. Kanata-kun. It doesn't matter what your family is going through. None of that changes who you are as a person. I respect who you are. Thank you. Yeah, Yuri-san? She looked relieved for a moment. But then I saw a single tear run down her cheek as she opened her mouth to thank me. I was instantly concerned. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I was just so worried you wouldn't want to see me if I told you the truth. Is it because you wouldn't have a place to take a bath? No, that's not why. Oh. I see how kind-hearted you are. I admire you for who you are. You didn't hesitate at all when you found me in the river. You immediately jumped in because you were concerned for my well-being. Oh. <laughs> you could have turned a blind eye and left me there. Not many people are willing to risk their safety to save others. You have a huge heart. Yuri-san took my hand and held on to it. Yeah, you're flattering me. I am so grateful to you. That was the first time anybody has shown me kindness since my father's company went down. You don't know what it means to me. If that's the case, Yuri-san, please let me take care of you more. Huh? You can rely on me. I'm here for you. You can use my bath anytime you want. I'm so happy I met you. I get to eat the food you make. I feel like the luckiest man alive. Kanatakun, thank you. From that day on, Yuri-san came over almost every day to use my bathroom. She made sure she didn't disrupt my work schedule. And she made a meal before leaving my place. Whether it was breakfast or dinner, I felt motivated knowing that I had something to look forward to. After living like that for a month, Yuri-san came home with great news. Kanatakun, I passed the final interview. Really? Congratulations, Yuri-san. She finally found a job and was excited to start working. I'll buy you a meal when I get my first paycheck. But first, I have to move. I need an apartment with a bathroom. But well, I want you to have my key. What? You can't be serious. Those are your keys. I am serious. I trust you enough to give it to you. Wow. I mean, I trust you too, Kanatakun. And you mean the world to me. What? I know you would prefer someone older as a proper job. That's not true, but are you sure? My father is a criminal. How many times do I have to tell you? None of that matters to me. I hope we can stay together forever. Whoa! I still have a lot to learn, but I'm not scared of taking a step forward. I will become strong enough to protect her from all the hatred in the world. I'm Koji Makamura. I always leave the office as soon as the bell rings. See you tomorrow! Everyone else usually has to stay behind and work OT, so naturally my colleagues didn't like me very much. There he goes again. He's got some nerve. He's useless. He's got nothing to do. That's why he doesn't do anything around here. Why are they paying him anyways? He's practically stealing from the company. He's a thief. A uh, thief? Oh no. They always talk behind my back, but I was used to this by now. Well, at least they don't try to physically stop me. Mamoyama! Don't become like him, okay? He's a known gun thief. But you, you're so pretty! You're our idol. Oh, sir, stop it! You're embarrassing me! You're gonna make Naito jealous! Makimura, he forgot his phone! Maybe I could still catch up to him. Be right back! See? She's mad now! Makimura, you forgot your phone! Oh, uh, thank you! Sorry, I know you still have work to do. No worries. Momoyama was being annoying again, so I needed some fresh air. This is Shiori Naito, one of my colleagues. She was the same age as me. She was really polite, and in my opinion, she was the hardest working person there. Oh, her. Yeah, the guys are all over her. She's just good with guys, I guess. You like her too? Me? Nah, she's not my type. She seems really uh, immature too. I like girls who are mature, like you. Oh crap, I'm gonna miss the train! See you tomorrow, don't push yourself too hard. Oh, uh, okay. Bye. I'm his type? Good to hear. Alright, let's get back to work. The next day, Momoyama started whining 30 minutes before the bell. Ah, I can't finish this all by myself. I wanna go home. No worries, Momoyama. We'll help you out. Yeah, you got this. She was always doing this. Whatever, none of my business. I grabbed my bag and got up to leave. I write him off. See you tomorrow. <sighs> you got some nerve, you know that? See you tomorrow. 
Oh, you too, Naito? Oh, that's the first. Yeah, I got plans, so see ya. Then she caught up to me and ran into the elevator. Hold on, wait for me. Oh, you're leaving already? <laughs> yeah, check this out. It's a new pancake place that just opened up. I got a coupon for it. See? Looks good, right? Yeah, it does, but uh, it says here this coupon is for couples only. Huh? See, right here. What? Oh, no, you're right. I was really looking forward to this, but I'm short on monies this month. <sighs> Darn it. Mr. Makimura, you hungry? Uh, yeah? You said those pancakes look good, right? Uh, yeah? Then be my boyfriend, just for today, please! Looks like she really wanted those pancakes. I was a bit hungry too, so I decided to say yes. Her reputation is bad enough as is, so... And, uh... Mm, this is so good, yummy! I love sweets! I didn't mind eating with her. She's kinda cute. I like sweets too, but if I eat too much, I'll get fat, so... No worries, you can burn calories while you're working, so it cancels each other out. Ah, right. Hey, um, I've been meaning to ask, how come you never stand up for yourself at the office? Everyone's always talking behind your back and stuff. You should say something, I know you're really good at your job. Oh, I don't really care, I, I don't enjoy it, but whatever. And even if I say something, it's not gonna change anything. It's not worth the time. Well, if you say so, but I know how hard you work, but I don't think people realize it. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. I really appreciate it. I hate working OT anyways. I hate wasting time, so... Oh, I see. Wait, do you think this is a waste of time too? I'm sorry I dragged you out here. No, not at all. You gotta relax every now and then. And I like sweets too, plus I've never been to a cafe with a girl, so this is kind of nice. Oh, good to hear. <laughs> a few days later, ugh, I'm hungry. I better grab something from the vending machine. Uh, that asshole! He's always staring at me, it's so gross! Uh. uh. Huh. Um, hey! Uh, what are you doing here? Not a lot of people use this vending machine, it's kind of nice. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, about what you just saw, can we keep this between us? Just forget about it, okay? Here. Huh? What's this? Milk tea. You're always drinking it. Oh, yeah. How did you know? You staring at me or something? Uh, no. Huh? But I get it. Almost everyone here is a middle-aged guy. That must be stressful for you. It's important to vent, but... Don't vandalize company property. If you break it, you're gonna have to pay for it, so... You should find other ways to vent. I'm just saying. Well, gotta go. He knows how to talk to women. I can tell. Maybe he's not as useless as others say. When I got back, Naito was doing something at her desk. She seemed busy. Hey, uh, can I ask you about this? Oh, sorry, you busy? Oh, it's fine. I just have to finish this thing before going on my business trip. Be right with you. Oh, all right then, no rush. Good luck with your business trip. Thank you. I'll get you something nice. I'll get you some sweets. I'll be back on Friday. All right. I was looking forward to seeing Naito again, but then something happened on Thursday. Hey, who sent those documents to our client? There was a bunch of mistakes on it. I told you this was really important for us! I told you to double check your work! What are we gonna do? Who was in charge of this? Eh, uh, that was your account, Mamayama. You messed up! He seems pissed. I'd like to help, but I don't think there's anything I can do. What? Oh no! Mamayama? Is that true? What's wrong with you? Actually, I told Mr. Makimura to do that for me, but I think there's been some kind of uh, misunderstanding. Seriously, she's blaming me now? I knew it, it was Makimura. He's so useless. Yeah, it's over for him. Good thing Baba Yawa didn't get blamed for his mistakes. Uh -huh. I didn't say anything back to her. The manager called me to his office and told me I had to quit. I was thinking about quitting soon anyways. All right, I'll be gone by the end of the month. I'm gonna go see the clients and apologize now. Also working on my handover materials tomorrow. 
If I get it done by the end of the week, can I take paid leave starting next week? Yeah, do whatever you want! You're not needed here anymore! Is it true you're quitting? But what are you gonna do for work? I... This is partially my fault, so... Maybe we could go talk to the manager together! It's fine. I was thinking of quitting anyways. And I should have offered to help, but I didn't think so. Well, I'm gonna head out now. <sighs> Friday. I was working on my handover materials. I'm glad he's getting fired. What is he still doing here anyways? Leave already! About half past three, Naito showed up at the office. What? Fired? What do you mean? Hey, Naito, welcome back! Are those for us? Thanks, how nice of you! It's not for you. Excuse me. What happened to him while I was gone? Mr. Makimura, is it true you're getting fired? I don't know what happened, but you don't have to do this. Hey there, you're back. You got me a souvenir? Yeah, I thought you really liked it. But then when I got back, they told me you were gone. Yeah, well, thanks for this. Here, this is for you. I made a manual for everything I was in charge of. Mr. Makimura. Then I said goodbye and headed home. After the weekend was over, I decided to use up all my paid leave. At the office. What the? The numbers are all wrong here! None of these numbers add up! Now, hold on, I've got problems with my own right now! Why isn't this working? This is a mess! Who was in charge of this? Well, I don't know. All I did was put the files in this folder and someone always did it for me. What's going on? We never had problems before. This doesn't make any sense. A week later. I can't do this anymore. This is a mess. We're working OT every day. What the hell happened to me? I thought I was better than this. I want to go home. Miss Naito, how come you get to come home early every day? How do you finish all your work on time? It's all thanks to Mr. Nakimura. He used to do everything around here, but I bet you didn't know that. Here, take a look at this. What? No way! I thought he was useless! Well, the useless was us for sure. Mr. Makimura, I knew it! A few weeks later, I went to the office one last time to say goodbye. But then, my colleagues started begging me to stay. Makimura, I'm sorry I said all of those things about you. I had it all wrong. Yeah, well, the useless ones, not you. Please don't quit. Yeah, please stay. Uh, thanks, guys, but uh, my mind is made up, so. But I decided to give them some advice. I told each of them what they were good at and what they should work on to get better at their job. It wasn't much, but. You sure know a lot about us. You're brilliant! We should have died. Well, let's get back to it, shall we? Come on, Miss Naito. Actually, I want to quit too. What? You too? What? Why? Are you dating Mr. Makimura or something? That's none of your business. He held the place together for years, and now I want to help him. That's all. Huh? Two weeks later, I was preparing to start my own business. My friends and I have been planning this for a while now. Oh, Miss Naito joined us. That was a nice surprise. The pay was really low, and they didn't even pay for OT past a certain amount, so I was thinking of quitting anyways. And everyone there loves to gossip, but I hate that. So whenever I hadn't finished work, I just took it home, that's all. So I'm not that good, like you say. Don't be so modest. You're brilliant. That's why I decided to quit and work for you. Thank you. This won't be easy, but with you by my side, I think we'll be okay. Good to hear. I'll do my best. You can count on me. My name is Sosa Imahara. I'm 25 and an office worker at a pretty decent company. Hey, it's Sota-san! Oh, he's so handsome! Shh! Don't talk so loud! He'll hear you! Oh, my bad. I keep forgetting to whisper. I can hear every word they're saying. I am so attracted to Sota-san! And he's good at his job! He'll get a promotion for sure. Plus, he was caring. And you know, I heard that he's single. Seriously, lower your voices. What? That is so sad! I would go out with him anytime! <laughs> I said quiet down! Do you think he'll come if we invite him to a Nomi Kai this weekend? <laughs> no, they're talking loudly on purpose, so I will hear them. I'm leaving. Ah! 
Uh, you know, I heard that all the girls from the company will be coming to the Nobikai. <laughs> I'm sure Sota-san will find the girl of its dreams there. Possibly me. <laughs> Ugh, no way. All I want is marriage. They scare me. I don't have time during the weekend anyways. I have to buy a new light novel. It's called the story of how a pre-angel found an overworked employee who had been warped into another world. I have no time for nommy guys. That's right, I have no interest in women from the real world. I'm a Nigen geek who only loves girls from the 2D world. I've lived my whole life without a girlfriend. A proud virgin. I've had my fair share of women in games, but I've never had any interest in real girls. I don't have anything against them, it's just... Uh... Back when I was a student, I had numerous girls come up to me because they were physically attracted to me. Uh, well, I'm a geek who loves anime. I'm not sure girls like that. Huh? I like anime too. I would love to hear about your favorite one. If uh, you insist. An hour later. And the moment the protagonist realizes what he has to do to the heroine, his hidden power is awakened. Then he says the legendary line, You will not die! I will not allow it! <laughs> you should see the heroine's expression at that moment. I could look at it all day. The production company did an amazing job. I've never seen such an anime before. Soto-kun? Oh, my bad. I got carried away. Yeah. What is it? Gosh, I can't do this. Huh? Seriously, you're kind of creeping me out. You might want to find a new hobby, Sotokun. But you said... Uh, my heart was crushed. So I turned to Nijan girls to heal my heart. And that's how my obsession with Nijan girls started. I distanced myself from girls in the real world, and now I can't go back to them. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I brought back bitter memories. I'm going to eat and watch anime to forget all about it. I arrived home and noticed that something was different. Oh, there's a nameplate in the room next to mine. It used to be empty. I guess somebody moved in? A few people put nameplates on their doors. It's not safe security-wise. I hope my new neighbor is a quiet time. And finally, the weekend. Oh my gosh. Amazing! That was incredible! I can't believe the quality of the pictures! Especially the one on the heroine! She was perfectly pictured! The world needs to know how talented the artist is! Thank you! Thank you for a wonderful experience! But wait, I don't think I ordered anything. Oh, was I being too loud? Did I scream too loud? Uh, my neighbor must be coming over to complain. Uh, I'm sorry, I promised to quiet down. May I borrow your Wi-Fi? Uh, what? Uh, hold on, I I'll open the door. Please, uh, be quiet. Can I borrow your Wi-Fi? Uh, what for? I'm an illustrator and I have an important meeting. I was going to connect my tablet to my phone, but then it broke and... And I was hoping you could let me connect my tablet to your Wi-Fi. I will pay you however much you want. Please! Uh, hey, uh, calm down. No. Huh? Oh. oh, of course. You're looking at my ninja and goods. Any real world girl would be creeped out by my room. Excuse me, your room? You have the nicest room ever! Excuse me, coming in! Wh what? Hey! Whoa! This room is a dream come true! Huh? Why don't you look so excited? This figure doll is a limited edition, isn't it? Oh, look at this huge poster of the maid and dragon from Amori-san's house! And a pillow of Lion Mama! Uh, excuse me, uh, Akami-san? <gasps> huh? You bought this already? What? I am the illustrator in charge of the illustration in this light novel! No way! Gosh, this is unbelievable! I never expected to meet a reader next door! What a coincidence! So, can I borrow your Wi-Fi and computer, please? Wait, my computer too? Uh, oh, the thing is, I use it for anime games and other ninja and stuff. More the reason why I want to borrow it! Seriously? And so, for some reason, I ended up lending my computer to a real-world girl who suddenly barged into my room. <sighs> I cannot thank you enough. You just saved my life. N no problem at all. Gosh, I can't believe you're the legendary illustrator Tenten Amatsuka. Legendary? No, you're flattering me! <laughs> <laughs> Cute. What is wrong with me? I've never been attracted to a real world girl before. Now that we know each other, can I ask you for one more favor? Another favor? I know that I'm complaining. Can we play one of your games together? There's no way we are playing it together. It's a game I play alone. Oh, I see. Well, then, can you take a look at this illustration? Uh, let me see. <laughs> what do you think? I... 
don't know how to phrase this. Uh, it's, it's intense. Uh, extremely sexy? It doesn't seem moe at all. Well, 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 well when the picture is a sexy, it's more like uh, a stimulant. Wow. Now I get it. Huh? What do you mean? The person in charge of my illustrations told me my artwork was too seductive. He wants me to tone it down since my illustrations will be used in light novels. Well, he has a point. We didn't want to read this to get the wrong idea. It's just... I'm much more creative when I draw freely. I'm having trouble distinguishing between sexy moe and romantic. They're so confusing. Ugh, I'm kind of stuck. That's why I moved here. I figured a change of environment could help me start over. Sexy moe and romantic, huh? Kemi san, it's nice to hear somebody use the word moe. Well, of course. It's the ultimate word to express Japanese cuteness. I didn't realize it held so much importance in expressing Japanese characteristics. Well, at least for me. There have been different expressions like emoi, but moe is definitely number one. It's the best way to express that unique feeling. I I agree 100%. Please, Sota-san, will you give me a lecture on what true moe is? Uh, me? But I'm just an ordinary commoner. <laughs> no ordinary commoner can make an extraordinary room like this. Well, I am proud of this room. Plus, I was told not to believe information on the internet. Instead, the advice I was given was that I should ask friends for advice and reference. I don't know if I'll be much help. Uh, did, did you call me a friend? And so, I would appreciate your... Something is growling. Me! Uh, I'll give me some! Thirty minutes later. <gasps> I smell a feast! Oh, you're awake. I figured you were hungry, so I made some food. Come to think of it, I've been focused on my illustrations. I haven't had anything to eat for days. You need some food in your body. This is delicious! Wait, did you order this for me? Nope, it's the Niku Jaga I made yesterday. And I made omelette rice earlier. You made this? Sotasan, you can't be serious! Well, I mean, <laughs> I've lived alone for a while now. You're hot, and you can cook? Oh, you are totally a Moe character. A Moe character? I am. The story of how a handsome boy who can cook appeared before me and served me with his cooking skills. That sounds like a title of a YouTube manga anime. <laughs> Down not that much. Oh, you have no idea, Sotasan. An attractive boy with super cooking skills is protagonist material. Oh my gosh, this is great! Uh, you're not getting anything out of me. Huh? <laughs> well, wait, what are you doing, Akame-san? I am so moe right now. I need to express it in an illustration. Hold on, I'm not a moe character. I'm far from cute, adorable, or however people describe it. You're wrong. I'm sure of this. Moe is not a word only associated with the physical cuteness of, let's say, a maid or nurse. You show me what true moe is, and then I'm grateful for your guidance. Cut it out, please! So, this is how our lessons on Moe started. A few days later, we had a lesson on posing. I have no idea why. Uh, why are you making me hold on to a camera? So, Tasan, have you ever heard of chiralism? A, a, a situation where something is almost showing, but you can't see it? Exactly! I think it's a skill I have to master to understand the true essence of Moe. Here it goes! You can start shooting! Can we please take a moment to think about this? It's, it's all very inappropriate. No, oh, I need to get shots from all kinds of angles. You have to keep in mind that the audience can actually see. God, I can my son, isn't this embarrassing for you? It is a bit embarrassing, but so disan, I get to see your face bright red, so that makes up for it. I don't understand a word you're saying. Please stop moeying over me. Leave that aside. Do you have any advice for me? The situation was overwhelming for me, but I knew Akami's son was taking all this seriously. I tried to focus on giving her precise advice. Yeah, you can place your hand on your breast over your shirt. That would make things sexy, but still classy. And men love it when girls look up at them from a lower position. Does this look okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. This is so educational. Please, keep taking photos. My heart is killing me. It's a hundred times more arousing than in games. Moving on. I'll hug you from behind. Whoa, what the heck? Akame san, why would you do that? It would be a nice experiment with posing together. What about holding hands? Or Kabadon? My camera is equipped with time remote. We can set it up there. What? Oh, this is a strange feeling. My heart is pounding for some reason. Is this 
I sent them on the way. Jeez, I don't know how much more I could take. Dad! We continue to deepen our knowledge on Moe for the next few months, and as a result... Thank you for always making meals for me. I'm grateful for everything you do, Sato-san. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy the food I make, Akami-san. You know, it's not just about the food. I'm getting compliments from everybody thanks to you and your support. By the way, I told them about you, and they told me we should get married. Married? <laughs> you freak out every time I mess with you. I told them about that too. Can you stop leaking private information about me? You know, I've been terrified of real world women until I met her. However, we had gotten close enough to visit each other daily. So, Tatan, you have no idea how grateful I am. I couldn't have gotten this far without you. Huh? I told you I moved to start fresh in a new environment. But the truth is, I came here to escape from my parents. They keep telling me to stop wasting my time and to get a proper job. I know my parents say that because they're concerned for my future, but... Uh, I see. Well, I don't think you're wasting your time, Akami-san. You've worked hard to get where you are now. Although you get out of hand sometimes. <laughs> I appreciate everything you do. My life would feel dull and empty if it weren't for your work, so... Thank you. Soto-san... I'm just a regular office worker with no imagination. I could never create anything like you. <laughs> You're not giving yourself enough credit. You're creating right now. Me? Creating what? A feeling of appreciation. Oh. Uh, you show us support by buying our creations, and you give us valuable feedback. Hitting the like button, retweeting, subscribing to our channels. Seeing those gives us the courage to keep moving forward. It means the world to us. I never thought of it like that. Uh, so, um, I was hoping you would... Hmm? You could stay by my side to help me continue to make more creations. Ah, that's Moe. Hmm? Uh, no, you, you misheard me. I'll never feel Moe towards a real world girl. No. <laughs> so, Tatsan, you are definitely the best Moe character I've ever seen. Well, cut it out. I'm not a Moe character. Of course you are. Let's live a Moe life together, so Tatsan. And so, Akame-san and I started our Moe relationship and lived happily ever after. My name is Shinto Ui. I'm an ordinary junior in high school who's just a bit of a geek. Hey guys, can someone bring Kashiwaga her worksheets from today's class? One day, one of the girls in my class took a few days off because of a cold. Wait, who the heck is Kashiwagi? Uh, it's that girl with glasses. No can do. We all live too far from her. Uh, I can go, no problem. Gashiwaga-san didn't live anywhere near me. However, I had special plans that day, and her place was on the way. Sakura-chan, my sweet angel. Today is the release of the magazine she is modeling for. I can pass by Gashiwaga-san's place on my way to the bookstore. I'm a huge fan of Sakura, a high school pop idol. My obsession started when I saw her singing and dancing in a video online. I read an interview where she talked about her difficult childhood and how becoming a pop idol wasn't easy. We're the same age, but she's been through so much. I have the utmost respect for her. Anyways, back to the girl I'm taking the worksheets to. Kashiwagi-san. She's the quiet type. She may have pink hair, but she's not bubbly and shallow like the other girls in my class. Her glasses and face mask never come off her face. I think it's because she has seasonal allergies all year round. My classmates call her plain and boring. I have to admit they have a point, but for some reason I like her. I don't like a lot of girls. I arrived at Kashiwaga-san's house and stood before her doorbell. Just then, I realized something shocking. Oh my gosh, I don't think we've ever talked to each other one-on-one. -on -one. There was nothing I could do about it. I mean, I was already there. Hey, her parents will probably answer the door. I might not even have to talk to her. Huh? Uh, whoa! The door suddenly opened and it pushed me back. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. I brought your worksheets from today. Uh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Why, could? I looked at the girl who opened the door. I was stunned. She looked exactly like my sweet angel, Sakura-chan. Oh, uh, I brought your worksheets. Uh, uh, thanks. Again, I am so sorry. Okay, um, I'll see you around. The girl who looked exactly like Sakura-chan quickly snatched the worksheets out of my hand and shut the door in my face. Uh, what was that? She looked exactly like Sakura-chan. So, was that Sakura-chan? But this is Kashiwaga-san's house. Big eyes with kind loving eyebrows. Beautiful flowing hair. I kept picturing the girl I just saw in my head. 
so I wouldn't forget what she looked like until I got to the bookstore. Sakura-chan's interview article! There's the newest edition! I opened the magazine and looked at Sakura-chan. I was right! That was Sakura-chan back there! But why was she at Kashiwaka-san's house? First things first! I gotta buy the magazine. The next day, my heart was pounding as I walked to the classroom. I couldn't wait to see if Kashiwaki-san was at school or not. Th there she is! That's Kashiwaki-san! Kashiwaki-san sits at the back of the classroom, by the window. The thing is, she had her glasses and face mask on, and she was looking down. It sucked that I couldn't see her face. My desk is diagonally in front of her. I don't get many chances to look at her. I'm not used to talking to girls. There was no way I could approach Kachiwagi-san in a place where so many people would be watching. Ugh, school is over, and I still haven't asked her. I lost sight of Kachiwagi-san after our last class ended. I left the school with a heavy heart. However, somebody called to me from behind a tree. Uh, hey. It's uh, Kachiwagi-san. Oikun, do you have some time after school to come over to my place? Why are you behind a tree? Uh, sure, I guess I have some time. Great, well, I ride the bus, so I'll meet there in 30 minutes. Kachiwagi-san turned around and left. I decided to head to her place. My gosh, I think that was the first time we had a proper conversation. Her voice is small, but it sounded so pretty. But why did she want me to go to her place? Wait, should I bring a gift or something? Ugh, I had no idea how to handle the situation. That was the first time a girl invited me over to her place. However, I had already said yes. I had no choice but to ring her doorbell 30 minutes later. Okay, well, here it goes. I rang the doorbell. Kashiwagi-san came out almost immediately, but to my surprise. Oh, Oikun, uh, come in. Kashiwagi-san? No, that's Sakura-chan. She had taken off her glasses and face mask, and she was out of her uniform. It was like she had transformed into Sakura-chan. I, I knew it! You're Sakura! Stop! You have to lower your voice! Kachiwaki-san grabbed my hand and pulled me into her place. She's so close! Oh gosh, she smells amazing. Um, well, Oikun? She won't back off. What do I do? You know who I am, right? So, um... My heart was freaking out. It was shoving all over the place, but I had to hear what Kachiwaki-san was about to say. Will you be my boyfriend, please? Huh? W will I uh, be your boyfriend? I had no idea what I did to deserve any of this. I wasn't even thinking when my head started bouncing up and down. Ten minutes later. I'm sorry for what I did earlier. I pulled too hard, didn't I? Uh, it's okay. Can we uh, sort out the situation? What's going on here? Okay. I know what you thought when you saw me. And it's true. I'm Sakura. Unbelievable. That's why her voice was so appealing. My theory was correct. It wasn't just a hallucination. I was shocked, but at the same time, I felt newfound respect for her. How did she hide who she was for this long? Hey, you're the most popular pop idol in Japan. Why did you hide yourself? I... I didn't want to give up on a normal life. A normal life? I started my career when I was in elementary school. I've been a part of the entertainment business most of my life. I think it was during my last years in elementary school. People started to treat me differently. It made me feel so alone. I didn't like it. I think I've read about that in an interview article. I shouldn't mention it. I should find out I'm a huge fan. And don't get me wrong, I love my job. But I also wanted a normal private life. That's why I chose this high school. Because nobody knows who I am here. I see. You see, recently, I received a job offer. Well, what's this? Kashiwagi-san took out a book to show me. It was a famous romance manga. Kashiwagi, uh, Sakura-chan have been casted in a movie. They'll be made based on this manga. Wow, so that means you're gonna be an actress? Yes, I am. The thing is, I don't have much experience with romance. I keep getting scolded at rehearsals. And so I realized I needed to train myself by having romantic relationships. But why did you pick me? Getting a boyfriend takes time and effort, and there isn't much time before shooting starts. Plus, being my boyfriend will require some compromising. I have a busy schedule with my work and all. That's why I couldn't ask my schoolmates or tell them who I was. So I was chosen because I found out your identity, is that right? I'm sorry to say this, but yes. I only need to practice until we start shooting. Please help me. Kashiwagi-san stood up and bowed her head. Hey, Sa- Kashiwagi-san? God must be rewarding me for something. 
I'm gonna be the famous pop idol Sakura's boyfriend. Hold on a second, calm down. You have to think about it before making rash decisions. It'll be an honor to be your boyfriend. Oh no, I did it again! My body always starts moving before my brain can process it. No, oh, thank you so much! And so, Kashiwagi-san slash Sakura-chan became my girlfriend. And our strange relationship began. The following week, school gate after school. Uh, did she wait long, Oikun? Nah, Kashiwagi-san. Shall we? Yes, we shall. My lifestyle changed drastically after I started dating her. I stopped going to school with my bicycle and rode the bus. That way, I could walk with Kashiwagi-san after school. We enjoyed our after-school dates every day. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm taking up so much of your time. It's okay. Are you sure it's what you want? We're just walking home together. It's fine. I'm clueless when it comes to dating. I think this is a great start. I'm glad she's so cheerful about it. So, is there anything you have learned? Um, well, Oikun, your hand is big and warm and, uh, I've never held hands with a boy in public, so my heart is racing. How cute could she get? Are you okay? Being close to her was a lot to handle. It took everything I had to keep a sane mind. It was a waste to see her attractive qualities go to waste at school, but she did everything she could to hide her identity. Not one person at school knew who she was. That is, except for me. Yeah, I'm curious about something. Do you have any friends, Kashiwagi-san? Yes. I have two friends from elementary and middle school, but none from high school. None, but we're juniors, Kachiwagi-san. Not that I have any friends. <laughs> I'm the class loser. Yes, I know. But I don't do after-school activities, and I'm busy with work on the weekends. Some of the girls invited me to hang out, but I kept saying no. And now I have zero friends at school. I see. But, Kachiwagi-san, didn't you say you wanted to experience a normal high school life? Yes, I know my situation is not ideal. Okay. I think I know what we should do. We gotta start making fun memories for you. Oh my, is that possible? I mean, I am your boyfriend right now. You can call me anytime you want. I'm the appreciative one. Oh, wow, I really appreciate this. You would have thought I'd end up with such a perfect girlfriend. After that, we began to spend even more time together in public, eventually. Oh, dude, are you dating that loser girl? You guys have been close since you brought her worksheets to a place. Loser girl? Yashiwagi, the girl you've been hanging with. Oh, yeah, she's my girlfriend. No, seriously, what do you like about her? I don't get it. Everything. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Now everybody in her class knew about Kashiwagi-san and my relationship. Oikon, are you sure? We're not a real couple. I'm scared that your reputation will get pulled down by mine. You don't deserve that. You don't have to be scared of anything. I don't have a reputation to uphold. I'm just a geek loser of the class. I don't know how to repay you. You have no idea how relieved I am to have somebody that knows who I am. A month after Kashiwagi-san became my so-called girlfriend, Kashiwagi-san was always busy. We somehow made time to go on dates after school twice a week, but that was it. Not that we did much. We would eat crepes, take Puracura, and go to the arcade. So, what did you mean when you said you wanted to try something? Well, um, I want you to push me down, passionately. What? Can you look at the scene? I want you to do exactly the same. Wow, that is the last thing I expected you to suggest. Please, I need to know what it feels like to be caught in a passionate moment. But aren't you going to do that scene while you shoot? Do we need to do this right now? I, yes, I do. I need to do this with you. With me? I... No, I'm supposed to be this popular, energetic girl. But the truth is, I'm not. And I really something at a handshaking event a year ago. I don't handle getting touched by men very well. Do you remember you came to see me that day, Oikun? Huh? That was my first handshaking event. I was so nervous, my hands were shaking. Sakura-chan! I love you! I'm your biggest fan! Thank you! That means so much to me! Towards the end of the event, I saw a boy run into the room. He was wearing the same school uniform as me. Wait, we're supposed to be in school right now. It's a weekday. Why is he here? Did he skip school? I listen to your songs all the time. I had to come here today. There's something I need to tell you. Uh, what is it? I admire and respect you, Sakura-chan. You give me the strength to live. Especially because we're the same age. Thank you. Uh, 
You running in wearing our school uniform made you stand out. But that wasn't all. The handshake we shared at that moment made me feel safe and warm. I felt something from you that I have never felt from anybody else. Oh my gosh. So does that mean she knew I was a huge fan? She's known this whole time? Oh, this is so humiliating. It wasn't part of my plan for you to find out my true identity. But the truth is, I felt lucky that it was you. You have no idea how long I wanted to feel the warmth of your hand. Uh, I'm begging you. You are the only one who makes me feel secure while making my heart race. It would mean so much to me if we could practice the romantic scene together. I need to overcome my fear. And you're the only one who can help me. But wait a second. Do you realize how close our faces are? We're not a real couple. Wouldn't it be inappropriate for us to be intimate? What are you talking about? I couldn't. Were you planning to break up with me after the movie shoot started? Well, I thought we were dating for you to practice for the movie. Didn't I tell you clearly? I needed a romantic experience! I don't get what you're trying to say. I have clear and strong romantic feelings. But what does that mean? Well, I have to do my job, but I prefer my first time with you. Oh gosh, this conversation's getting out of control. I'm aware that Kashiwagi's side of my relationship is not a typical relationship at all, but I look forward to deepening the secret of ours. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.